Welcome back to Alpha Mods, everybody. So today we're going to go ahead and bust out the multi-scan ECU with laptop, and we're going to convert the shifter logic to European settings, which basically means that you'll be able to engage um, drive using the paddle, the right paddle, and you'll be able to kick into neutral by pressing the plus and minus paddle at the same time, making stops really smooth, and letting you hear that sweet exhaust note when you rev up. For this mod, you're definitely going to need multi-scan ECU. I bought a cheap little Amazon laptop and uh, downloaded multi-scan for 50 bucks. I also have the data link cables with the gray and the blue adapters. So it's not too hard to do. Uh, it takes I think it took me about 10 minutes in total, something like that, maybe less than that. But it's definitely a cool mod. As you guys can see, when I'm in park right there, all I have to do is hit this shifter. You'll see it move. And now I'm in drive. Just like that. Okay, so what you're going to want to do here is connect to the CAN proxy alignment procedure. You're going to hit connect. Once you're on the adjustment screen, you're going to hit control C. You're going to want to go in here and you're going to change that 40. Did you see right there? Or that It's going to say 50, so you're going to change it to 40. And then once you're Done with that, you're going to hit OK. And then you're going to hit Execute. Please read all notes. Yes. And now it's going to begin the process. And you're going to start off again with the regular cable, and eventually you're going to move down to the gray and the blue cable as it's asking. So it doesn't take very much time at all. I want to say it takes maybe four minutes, five minutes if it's done correctly. And it's going to write the data now. And basically what we're doing right now is changing our settings from North American to European. So there's going to be a lot of interesting changes with the um, transmission and shifting. So you'll be able to shift from park to drive just using the paddles. If you hit the plus paddle and the minus paddle at the same time, it'll shoot it into um, neutral mode. So anyway, so now it's asking for the blue adapter. You want to make these changes in a fairly quick amount of time. So you don't want to let more than 15 seconds in between each change. So just have them ready and see how they're oriented and see how they connect into the OBD2. So there's a great DIY on the Julia forms on this entire process, and I gotta say it's so easy to do. I, I mean, I've done it in no time flat. Your radio is gonna come on, so I'll turn that off. Okay, so now we're on to the next adapter, and as you can see, this is doing all kinds of stuff up here. So don't be concerned with that. let it go through. If everything goes as planned, then all this is completed. Hit yes, turn key off, which I did that. Hit yes to continue. And then go ahead and it looks like it's already disconnected. So from here, we're going to go ahead and unplug this, turn this back on, start up the car, and that's it. Now let's see if I can show you guys this. I'm literally in park, and now I'm going to press this right here. 
into drive. That's so awesome. Okay, so one of the features of doing this European update to this car, um, basically whenever you're in park, just regular park, you'll be able to put your foot on the brake, tap that into drive. So now you're back in drive. And then what you can do from there is you can go into neutral basically by pressing both of them. So now I'm, I'm in neutral. Let the engine RPMs drop and then I can press back into drive whenever I want and it'll pick up to the correct gear. So honestly that's pretty amazing because it makes coming to a stop like buttery smooth. Um, I think that's one of the biggest differences you don't have this jerkiness from the transmission or this, you know, weird up rev if you don't want it. Um, I understand that some people want it and it's enjoyable and if you're in dynamic mode or whatnot. But if you're just trying to have a relaxing little, you know, cruise down somewhere and you need to not be as jerky with the transmission, um, then this definitely allows you to do that. You just double tap into neutral. You let the RPMs drop and then you can go back into drive just like that. And Show you guys another short example of this. Reverse to drive. I'm going to roll down this window just so you guys can hear. So I'm moving right now. I'm squint into neutral. Now I come to an enjoyable stop. Go back into drive. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, just to summarize, we used MES or multi-scan to uh, change byte 156 to 40 and change the shifter logic to the European settings. And this thing is really great for a lot of um, a lot of different reasons. Uh, for me, I just like to throw it in neutral and rev on people. You know, it's just kind of a little bit kiddish, but it's fun at the same time. Um, I also want to just say again. Um, Make sure you know what you're doing. Um, you can watch the tutorials. I'm gonna to post the link to the Julia form where I learned how to do this. So it's not too big of a deal and you get to see what a general proxy alignment on the Alpha is. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.